everybody and welcome back to Manifest Destiny in Victoria 2 with the historical project mod as the old glorious USA. Now where we last left off, we received a uh, place of the sun cast his belly, I guess, <laughs> Spain. Pretty much, let's just say one of our boats mysteriously sank in the harbor at one of their ports. And as of right now, we're going to take that opportunity to take the possession of the Philippines, follow the historical route of the U.S., now we're just letting our boats and such recover real quick because like, we i completely forgot we couldn't get across the uh panama canal yet because it's still being uh forged what the hell uh okay <laughs> so this uh for the panama canal it's gonna be until 1871 I believe that's what it should finish up. So until then, we gotta wait. I, I actually do like how it's like you just have to wait for it to form. Good lord, all of these slavery uh, questions. Uh, right now, I'm just letting our naval forces and such uh, recover because we took a bit of a heavy beating. Right now, all right. Uh, let's see. Let's just wait uh, about one more month, and then I'm gonna ship you guys out. Oh, that's probably why we also got some garbage clipper transports in here. <laughs> Please, keep getting secessionist sentiments. I think <laughs> this Civil War, American Civil War, is having an abortive effort to like start. Uh, all right. So what you guys are gonna do? Head down here. I just need you guys down here for just a little bit. Uh, what about Ryukyu? Uh, it's still occupied by China. Wait, like, this war is still going on. I'll be damned. Uh, <laughs> Japan is trying to negotiate an unequal treaty. And uh, France and Austria are at war with Hungary to reform the Austro Hungarian Empire. That is that's pretty spiffy. A lot of stuff is going on in this mod, which I like a lot. Alright, place in the sun. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Philippines isn't one thing. It's like three separate entities. Ooh. Uh, I don't want it to be a waste that I went down here. And like seeing as how I keep making stupid amateur mistakes um, so far in this game. I have to say I deserve it. All right, so let's see we are going to go for up here let's do this I right, declare war keep will only take seven <laughs> Like, main reason I want to get the Philippines is because it'll give us a foothold in Asia. But Cuba over here would be easier for us to take over. It'll be like just a snap. Uh, well, you know, uh, wait. Oh, France is over here too. Okay, okay, okay. So we're going to do this. We're going to take over this because we want to get possession of Asia. So let's declare war in Spain. You guys drop off down there. And what you guys are gonna do, we're gonna actually send over a small invasion force. Let you guys hit the ball, folk. Hit over here. And we're gonna also try to take over Cuba. And. 
No way in hell Russia's gonna get military access to them. Uh, let us call in our little spearlings down here. They will undoubtedly help us. Argentina. And also, I'm gonna influence the Dominican Republic, see if we can uh, outright annex, though. Let's just call in like, some of the big guys. The rest of you should be fine. go back over here you guys get back to port rest up I don't want none of y'all sinking out here so see this how we are pretty much going to be the only force in the Philippines how much more do we do Uh, your individual working okay, okay gotcha so what I'm hoping to perform here is a little bit of razzle dazzle take more colonial possessions than we first intended so I want you guys head down here to the Florida Straits real quick and what you guys are gonna do they Cuba let's see if we could probably go for a two for one I hit the Manila. If we got outright annex Cuba, I don't believe Spain has any possessions down here. They got this one island. This isn't even a colony, so there's that. And realism is about to be discovered. Okay, so let me see. Because we are about to lock machine guns, what I'm actually going to do is for the next couple months just collect points. And we're not going to research anything. There's the Spanish army. Uh, in, the calm of, in the calm night of 1869, Arica, the earth suddenly shook and started to sunder. The earthquake shaking lasted somewhere between 5 and 10 minutes and caused almost complete destruction in the south southern part of Peru. Then the first wave arrived at Arica 52 minutes after the earthquake with a 12 meter height, followed by the largest 16 meter wave 73 minutes later. The tsunami drove three ships anchored in a port nearly 800 meters inland. The 1560 ton Peruvian Corvette America, the U.S. gunboat Waterade, and the U.S. storeship Fredonia, which has completely destroyed as well as causing considerable damage in Hawaii, washing out a bridge along the Wahui River, the port city. Okay. Um, so I'm going to talk about one thing on this channel that, uh, or this, or this episode that I want to discuss is that after this let's play, I might take a temporary break from Victoria 2. And the reason for that being is I kind of want to start a different let's play on a separate Paradox game. Namely, I want to do an Imperator Rome one. Because Imperator Rome is a little bit longer than Victoria 2, but not as long as like E4 or CK2, which will give me like some wriggle room to like have fun and dig around in. Uh, it's one I mainly kind of wanted to do for a while, but it's one. Let me see. Will it be smart? Let me let me try that. Okay. I don't want to attack them in the jungle. That will be. Can they get the bonus of the Okay, you know what? Let's head them head on. Okay. You're gonna be here November 28th. Oh, okay. Damn, I thought they were gonna come. So, what I was saying is, that's one I will feel comfortable doing a let's play with, because I know it'll be like, not as long, and it'll be a little bit longer than Victoria 2. And I do have some plans in the work for a future Victoria 2 Let's Play series using other mods, playing as more various countries, such as I want to do in the future, I'm probably going to do Great Britain next, uh, and uh, what's that shit called? New World Order mod. I might do that mod next uh, with as Great Britain, or I may go back to Vanilla and play Ethiopia or Persia, one of those two countries, uh, just because. <laughs> uh, 
Other Paradise games I could say they do a list plays on have been like CK2 and Europa Universalis, but uh, don't tell me this is straight crossing. Okay, no. You guys should handle this. How in the hell are you guys losing this? Shit! Get out, 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 get out. Oh my god, two days left. Please, 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 please. Okay. Good. Alright, that was stupid. How the hell could you not handle those goddamn spangers here? Will you guys help me? I need your help. As much help as I can, apparently. And that's gonna be bad because. Jeez. Jeez Louise. I'm still wondering how the hell that my units literally just dropped like by like several thousand troops and it wasn't even a crossing. I think it was just due to the fact. Uh, I'm gonna have to get you guys out of there. Because there's no way in hell you're gonna be able to survive that. I don't want to lose you, because if I lose you, that is going to be super bad for this war. Uh, let's see. Let's go for a good minimum wage. Get the boats down there. That was terrible, beyond belief. I thought we had everything. We had the planes and such to attack them more. But I guess it wasn't meant to be. What in the fuck? Where the hell did you come from? You, they just did a naval landing. I am so used to not having forces do a naval landing as uh, against me as the U.S. that I completely neglected that fact. Okay, let's kill off these. Are we well with that uh, being no, I'm not gonna add Russia because they're gonna become a war leader. Gotta remember that. All right, so we're just gonna have to kill you guys. And I am going to pick apart this nation bit by bit. All right, you guys get on the boat. And you guys go over here. We'll do a repeat of this invasion shortly. That was foolish. All right, and how's this war over here? A hung, what in the hell? What? What the? Why is the North German Federation having the piece of, but not down here? Uh, what? Excuse me, what? How did that happen? I am genuinely confused. Uh, so that kind of screwed up the Austrian-Prussian War, I suppose. Alrighty then. And you're about to attack them. Okay, that's fine. Alright, kill these guys. They're in the grasslands. You should have no trouble, Chester Phillips. And you guys should go back in the port. I have recovered. That was humiliating, George. That was so humiliating, in fact, if we have a better general. All right, so let's see. Three attack, negative two defense. I am going to go with you. We're gonna repeat the invasion shortly. And let us see, Mexico is doing the invasion. All right, you guys are doing well. Seems that when these guys aren't against savages, they completely fall apart. Oh, uh, they're at Tech 13 as well. All 
right? We took over, about to take over Havana. That caused me to lose so much war score. Probably because I think one of the reasons why is because we don't have artillery with these guys. I forgot these are just simple African units. Uh, let's see. Can I? Yeah, build some guys down here. And we shall ferry you guys over. Hopefully in the future. And machine guns is almost done. Oh shit. Uh, let's see. East Day tensions with the southern states are right. oh shit. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Well, okay, I'm gonna need, so looks like what I figured was gonna happen, but I should have anticipated. Looks like the CSA decided to like get its ass together and exist in the middle of a war. I, I swear I called this earlier in the campaign. I said I was afraid that in the middle of a war they were gonna do this. And so, look at this, all right. And they have my troops over here, guys. What the hell? Wait, what in the hell? What in the hell? What in the hell? Oh my goodness. Oh uh, shit. Uh, oh crap. But anyway, I gotta take a break uh, real quick. So, I'm gonna pause the game right here. And when we return, we shall continue the... the they released as a satellite inside of us. Oh my god. <laughs> oh boy. Okie dokie, folks. We are back. Eh, took a little short break there. Uh, because this... <laughs> So, uh, right now, I am in emergency mode because I don't know if the Civil War is going to happen right now. We're in the middle of a conflict which will completely fuck us. So, I, oh yeah, I don't even own these states even though, oh yeah, because they're occupied right now. All right. So, what I'm going to do, da -da 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 -da. We are going to mobilize the army because, of course, we're going to have to. I, I mean, here, I'll call you in because we're going to need you. They, they already hate us. Uh, might as well use them to our advantage, right? Uh, with that said... Ugh, this is so disgusting. I was not expecting that. That quite frankly changed the whole dynamic of this conflict. I wish I could tell you, like, Japan to do something, but Lord, you can't do anything. And Russia... Russia has no naval fleet over here, and... Mexico is just oh, goodness gracious what a fucking mess. <laughs> Alright. You finish your siege in Havana for the love of God. Don't run, you bastard. Alright, let's see. Alright, alright. You we're gonna have to 
We're gonna have to think of something. I am gonna have to play around with this because it's 51,000 like goddamn Dutch troops here in Russia. Uh, let me see. You're hated. If they could, I doubt it. Because they're not going to get military access on Russia. Let me see. That's not the most provinces. They only got 10 boats, so it's no point. No point. Oh, yeah, of course, you attack a mobilized unit. Alright. So, this is quite the mess I got myself into. Yep, alright, so what's gonna need to be done? Tax the hell out of everyone right now. We are going to cut back on. No, we need admin up. Uh, military spending has to be cut down a little bit. And actually, we're gonna cut down education 80% right now. And why? Oh, why is the military like dipper down in quality? Ugh. Even that. All right. Uh. Go to that. Yep, keep gathering that 26 war score. Yep, they keep killing the raised troops. Okay. So, I need you. I need an attacker. You. Go up there. I need you to, like, pull off some magic real quick. Alright, so. This is looking a bit sketchy right now. There's no... No way, no way, no way. Hurry up, kill these guys off down here, please. And... Of course. Uh, wait, since you're a satellite, can I take over your... Thank you. Here, I need you. I need you right now. Hurry up go get down here right now I want mainly you two to get over here All right kill them And right now, since you guys over the here, because literally these guys are going to get killed because of the lack of artillery. Should have thought about that. I didn't think about this. We did not plan on this, but hopefully all these Dutch troops were just going to kill them. I want them lined up in front of a pit and shot. All right, go over here. We got to kill these guys. Oh, we're 90% literacy now, but the CSA exists. The Civil War didn't occur, and I believe we're just probably going to be waiting on like some Fort Sumter-like event, and that's going to be <sighs> holy ravioli type nonsense. Because we just lost a huge portion of our economy here. It's Manila. Uh, 
knock the troops off over there. Alright, and these guys should be done. Alright, where are you going? Why are you just sitting here? Oh. Go up there, hunt them down. Alright, so right now this is a bit touch and go because so many variables just popped up. Uh main thing is we gotta get the war goal I am going to do this just because we're gonna need something um to give us a ticking war score Hurry up and you guys get over here and then we can rally all right Mexico looks like Mexico got those troops You guys hide over here for a little bit. All right, we'll be able to take over Cuba shortly. So, I probably gotta recheck the video, but uh, I need to see what the hell just happened with the Civil War event. I, I gotta check that because I am heavily confused what I just witnessed. You see us, they exist, but they're a satellite. On top of that, I saw the thing saying, uh, is there like a new decision that popped up? So, let me get this straight. The CSA is essentially just a vassal state. We can release them. But I don't know if that's a good idea. The Free States of America. Oh, God. So much nonsense we just inherited. All right. You guys head over there. Other guys head up there. Let's take over to Santiago. If anything, I might use you as a defensive leader. All right, hunting them down. I have no idea what this entails for us. All right, you guys merging up. Alright, you guys could uh, get out of that real quick. Alright, uh, you can head up here actually. Sit closer by. And Santiago fail. Alright. You guys hop on this boat. And all right, you want to be a prick, don't you, Spain? And yeah, you mobilize. I'm not gonna go over to the mainland, at least not yet. Let's help liberate that. So, what should be the Point. Should we just release them? Yeah, let's go over here. Samuel, I'm hoping you can do this. I really need you to do this. <sighs> I 
he can't. It's that artillery line. Shit! He can't do anything about that artillery. Alright, uh... You, you're gonna have a mission. You're gonna have to go to the Philippines. Get wiped. Don't get wiped out. Don't get wiped out. Don't get wiped out. Don't get wiped out. Get out. Oh, this is three fucking war score. <laughs> you can hear it in my voice. You can tell I'm highly irritated by the course of events going on right now. You know what? Let's do this. I'm willing to hedge my bets. Yeah, you can get through Austria, Italy, and France or something. Russia, it'll be great help for me. Because right now... Let's see. You guys get over here. We're going to try to attack the Heartland. Uh, Spain is really the only option we got right now. Uh, you guys get your answers over here. Alright, so this is going to be a bigger undertaking than I thought. Something I thought was going to be a quick, simple, clean war is going to turn into a complete, utter, bloody mess. And also, we don't even get a Cassus Belly against the CSA. Ah, uh, well. What is there to say? I I really can't do much. This is going to be weird. Uh, <laughs> simply because the CSA... Like, look at this. We, we're still getting those Civil War events popping up. And I have no idea why... Let's head over here. And then we, oh, I forgot Portugal's against this as well. Are you can you move any troops, Russia, or are you just stuck? Oh. Look at that. Best bet, send these guys over here. Honestly, because uh, we don't have the forces and stuff to do a landing. Like, that's 48,000. Uh, what should they? Mobilized units. We can't get through that. Even if I do land, I'm going to have to keep going back and forth. Oh, God. Well, folks, you guys are possibly going to witness the most insane war I've ever gotten into inside of a let's play. We are going to declare war on the CSA while they're an ally with us in one war, but... We are going to have to deal with this at the same time as dealing with the Spanish Empire. God help us all. I'm going to wrap this video up right here. So when we return, this is going to occur. This is literally, oh my god, what is the Bixby letter? Bixby letter, Bixby letter, here we are. Lose two war exhaustion. Oh, shit, you think? Oh, good lord, where is our war exhaustion at? Oh, we're at 10.3 war exhaustion. We're actually going to need this. All right, so. <laughs> this is going to be. Uh, this is going to be it. This is going to be the one. This is the make or break moment for the United States of America. 
is us against them. Mexico, Mexico can't even join us. Yeah, because they're allied with us in this other war. This is stupid as all hell. Oh, great. So, okay, so we're, we're in a good position right now. We don't really have to worry about uh, too much because we already, I already mobilized preemptively, thank God. Uh, no, you go up here and deal with them. Go up here and deal with them. We got, we got to get this right. We got to... Where in the hell did you come from? These damn Dutch. Ugh, okay. We're going to finish this. We're going to capture the war goals, peace out Spain, and call it a day. That's the main goal right now. We're in the hell. Okay. You guys are almost back to Africa. What a mess. Okay. You know what? I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more. When we return, we're going to fix all this. Trust me, and when we fix all of this, America is going to rise like the fucking phoenix from the ashes as always was. So I hope to see you guys again soon. This is Solo Supreme, and have a great day, folks. And may God have mercy on our souls. Now this one is pure niceness.